Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 57 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. I'm here today for my money, oh it's Tuesday, that doesn't make sense. I'm here for my June numbers. Now, I decided to come outside and enjoy the beautiful weather here in central Arkansas. It really is nice. There's a little humidity, but it's really nice. So why not come out and enjoy the weather and do what I love, making YouTube videos. So let's get started. Now we're going to start off with my numbers and then I'm going to break it down into what actually sold. Um, what item, how many items sold, and all that. So stick around. This shouldn't be a long video, but stick around to see everything. Okay, so in June of 2021, I sold 153 items on eBay. I sold 22 on Poshmark for a total of 175 outgoing orders. Pretty good. Uh, my eBay gross sales for the month was $4,049.29. My Poshmark gross sales for the month was $406 for a total of $4,455.29 total gross sales. My shipping was $998.87 and if you've watched my videos you know that does include eBay shipping as well as anything I ship on Pirate Ship and I use Pirate Ship to ship um, all my international orders and some of my uh, orders within the states. My eBay fees were $582.80 and this is the 11.7% plus a 30 cent per transaction fee plus any promotion fees. My Poshmark fees were $94.70 and this includes the 20% that they take off the top plus any kind of ch shipping discounts for a total of $1,676.37 worth of cost. I had $278.07 worth of cost of goods. Excuse me. Being outside is wonderful, but then your allergies kick in. So, um, for a total net sales for the month of June, which was a slow month, of $2,500.85. Now, when you look at it like that, $2,500 I made working part time doing something I absolutely love. You can do it too. My gross average sale price was $25.46 and my net average sale price was $14.29. So it was a great month. You know, even a summer slowdown month, it was still great. So um, now I'm going to break it down into what sold in each of my store categories, okay? So I had 85 women's clothing items. 31 men's clothing items, 12 pair of women's shoes, uh, 4 pairs of men's shoes, 2 children's clothes, 2 toys, 2 caps, 1 t-shirt, 1 electronics, 1 scrub top, and 3 other. I'm not sure what the other was. I didn't break it down further than that. So, um, I broke, put it all, you're going to be seeing right here that it's on a um, bar graph. So, hey, I had fun doing it. And, you know, I'm going to show you real quick. I don't know I've been putting it up there, but I just wanted to show you that, uh, you know, it was fun doing. Ah, oh, you're seeing my shadow. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Now, as far as those women's clothing items. I broke it down even further because I had 85 of them so why not break it down even further. I had 47 tops, 5 swimwear items, 3 skirts, 13 pairs of shorts, 16 pairs of pants and this did include capris and full length pants, 8 pair of jeans, two pieces of active wear, three jackets 
slash blazers and eight dresses. So now why I did this is very important because it tells me either I have more tops listed than I do any other category or they're just selling or probably a combination of both. So, you know, it lets me know that, yeah, I need to be picking up tops for sure and some pants. Now, as we get closer to the fall, jeans are going to pick up. So just know, now's the time to be picking up those jeans and getting them listed. That way, when people start looking for them in another few weeks for back to school, they'll be there and they'll buy yours. Um, as far as the shoes, the women's shoes, I had four pair of dress shoes that sold, five pair of casual shoes, three sandals, and two pairs of sneakers. I like it. Okay, then let's break down the men's numbers. Um, I took the men's clothing items. Remember, I had 31 of them. I had 16 um, pair of shorts that sold. Men's shorts were a big seller. Okay, when you live in the country, you hear my rooster crowing, you hear the birds, you hear the fountain on the pool. You know, isn't it glorious? But also you hear the noise from the highway. I live a ways from the highway, but there's not many trees that block it off, so I still get that noise. But that's okay. That's the fun of living in the country. You get everything. So, um, I had 12 men's shirts sell, four pair of pants, one swim wear, and three pair of jeans. So, not a big seller on uh, jeans yet, but it's, like I said, it's going to pick up. So, get those items listed. Okay. As far as the men's shoes, I broke that down into dress shoes and sneakers because that's that's where it hit this month. I had two pair of dress shoes to sell and I had three pairs of sneakers to sell. So what do you think about the numbers? Think that was pretty good? I do. I think it was a great month. I'm excited about what's happening already in July. So, you know, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go have fun and thrift. Now, I'm about to go on a thrifting trip, vacation, uh, up to Northwest Arkansas where I'm going to uh, participate in a collaboration. And I'm going to thrift on the way up. And I'm going to go to Fort Smith. They have a Savers there. That's the only Savers in Arkansas. Then I'm going to come back down and I'm going to go up to the Fayetteville area. They have wonderful thrift stores up in the Fayetteville area and they have a Goodwill Bins. And that's primarily where I'm going is to the Goodwill Bins. We have one in Little Rock and I go occasionally, but when I go on my travel, then I like to go up to Northwest Arkansas to beautiful country up in the Fayetteville area. Um, you know, go hogs go. Hey, I didn't even realize red and white, go hogs go. So I wanna thank you for coming today and watching this. And I hope you saw that the numbers are something that you can accomplish. Just think, hey, that $2,500 went to buy me a uh, new golf cart to get around the property. Yeah. You know, previous months have helped to buy a new car for myself. I, where else am I going to get that extra money than selling on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace, Macari, all these other ones that I'm not selling very much on. But, take advantage. Even if you only want to make $500 this month, that's very easily accomplished. So, if you like this video, if you like hearing how I'm doing, my uh, that I'm being for, coming forward with my numbers and letting you know exactly what I make, uh, hit that like button. If you want to see other videos like this, like each week I do a weekly breakdown of my numbers. So if you want to see more of those, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see hauls like the one I'm going to go on later this week, 
hit the subscribe button. If you want to see me open mystery boxes, hit the subscribe button. And I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.